This is 28-year-old candle maker Richard. Hello. Hello, you all right? I'm good, a little bit nervous. My mum bought me a candle making kit when I was about eight years old and I just, I started making candles and I got absolutely addicted to it and never stopped. <laughs> Most of my days sort of consist of being in the shop at eight o'clock in the morning, making somewhere in the region of 400 to 500 candles and then going home close to midnight. Yes, candles are the love of my life, which is a problem. <laughs> I'm just about to head off, actually. OK, good luck, it'll all be fine. Thank you. Amazing. So lucky to have you already. Oh, shut up. Love you, bye. <laughs> well, I would quite like someone to say, can I take you for a drink? Can I take you away from work? Can you go home and put some clothes on that aren't covered in candle wax? I'd like to meet someone kind, someone that's got a nice face. I do like someone with a bit of quirk to them. I think, I think a bit better than just the status quo. Richard, this doesn't look like a door at all. <laughs> Come in. Sorry. Come in. Hi. <laughs> Are you ready for your date? I am. Well, we've got a guy who's silky smooth. Oh. In the right parts. OK. Come on. Here we are. Hi. Have fun, guys. Hello. Thank you Thank very you. much. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Richard. Hi, I'm Duncan. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Uh, I'm good, yeah. <sighs> How are you? Excited, confused, <laughs> all of these things. Good evening, how are you? Good evening, very well, how are you? I could really do with the whiskey old-fashioned, though. Yeah, coming up. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. What do you do for a living, then? I'm a candle maker. A candle maker? I'm a candle maker. Wow. Yes. Yeah. It's a bit different. <laughs> yeah, that is different. <laughs> what do you do? I uh, run a business with my parents oh, and cool. we manufacture silk lingerie but also uh, menswear, so silk pyjamas, silk boxer shorts, yeah, anything made up of yeah, silk. Where did you do that? Fabric. In Somerset. So I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm Exeter. Exeter, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. I went to Bath Spa Uni. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Did you do uni? Yeah, I did geology, which is geology. quite different to yeah, What I've heard silk. is that geology rocks. Yes, it does yeah, rock. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. love it. <laughs> I would turn my nose up at anybody who made a candle pun, so I can't really... What candle like puns are there? So many. From uh, tired, then I've been burning the candle at both ends. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, cheers. Cheers. Nice to meet you. Nice to Duncan, meet you isn't it? Yes. Good, Richard. I remembered. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> so bad, isn't sure, it? I'm... How are you? Good, thank you, Fred. Yeah, I'm just coming to see how it's all going. I'm very happy. Me too, yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely enjoying your company. Oh, fantastic. Me too. Oh, that's very good. Well, I'm going to leave you to it then. Fantastic. Otherwise, I'm just going to be the party pooper, so I'm just going to go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We enjoy our company too, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd learnt French properly. Although, I feel like if I spend a week in France, at the end of the week, I'm like, I'm <laughs> so good at French. Uh -huh, I come back and I'm like, play. <laughs> I'm sure it's not too late for you. <laughs> So, what else did you enjoy doing in school other than French? It was completely a way with the fairies. Okay. Through, through Juice and Sea, especially. But then when I went to sixth form, I had the absolute worst time in my life. Why, why, why was that? I was bullied relentlessly. It was like a core of guys that seemed to take massive offence that I was gay, or more so that I was comfortable in who I was. I felt so isolated and so worthless. It shut me down and it ruined me for years. Really ruined me. <sighs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. I think the effect that it had on me is it just it closed me off as a person. Because it was safer to be shut off, then, then make yourself a bigger target. Mm. I think the hardest thing was that I haven't got... I haven't got anyone on my side. Anyone. Yeah, I'm screwed. I'm not as confident as I think I should be. I think a lot of my issues with dating might come from a point of view of... It's easier not to let yourself open up to someone. I reckon some of those that bullied you I've got a weird feeling that 
they're the sorts of guys whose wives cheat on them. <laughs> 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 <laughs>